Salutations. Pretend that was closed. Dave from System Degenerate here, bringing you this week's SD lesson video. I've just had to record this again because my camera messed up and I'm not very happy about that. Anyway, I thought this time, because why not, I would uh, make a video of one of our songs, which I've done before, but decided that I would do it again. I'm ill. Can you tell that I'm ill? Anyway. Well, this time we do Dystopia, because, uh, you know, it's a song. We wrote it. And uh, a lot of people hear it and they say, oh, what are the guitars playing? And I say, shut up, you don't know music. And so anyway, I thought I would cover that in this video and we can do a little instructional thing on how to play this song. And uh, hopefully that won't get asked that question anymore. You know, it's not our fault. I mean, we, we, we record guitars just fine. It's your fault. You're the ones that don't know how to listen to it. Anyway, let's move on. Hopefully the uh, guitar won't feed back too much with its active pickups because we have a bike still be here in this one. Ah, it's a Final Tap reference. Anyway, the first bit of this song in the verse is actually pretty straightforward. It's just four open notes and that low E. And then you're going to go to a G5 power chord and then an E5 power chord. That's third fret and then open if you don't know your power chords. Uh, I should also say at this point, actually, we're half a step down in D-sharp tuning, but I'm going to be talking about this as if we were in standard, because it's easier that way. So yeah. Nice and simple, straightforward, and yeah, a child could play that. If you can't play that, then I can't help you. Anyway, the main riff is a extended version of that. So, I'm playing that a little slower than normal. The hot actual speed is... So yeah, it's basically, you start off playing that verse riff, and then you add some extra opens. So that's like five. I don't know. Uh, and then you go up to the first fret power chord in the A string, which would be an A sharp in the standard tuning. In this tuning, it's an A, A5. And then the second bit is where it gets complicated. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off uh, playing that main bit again. And then you're like, yeah, I don't know, of those, whatever. Um, and then you're basically going to do this little arpeggio here, uh, which is like, you start off on the fourth fret of the D. See, everyone loves the D. And then the second fret of the A. On the low E, go from the 4th to the 3rd. And then on the D again, 1st fret. 3rd again on the E. And then 2nd and 1st on the A. You may want to play that back, pausing the video after every note, because I'm not going over it again. So yeah, those are the main riffs that carry the first few verses, and then we have a build-up to the bridge section. What I call the bridge, though it's not in place the bridge, because I don't like to have normal structures, because normal structures bore me, and they should bore you too, unless you're a moron. Anyway, you have this open power chord, and you're going to go to the first fret on the E string, but you're going to keep your middle finger in the air at people you don't like. No, you're going to keep it on the second fret of the A string, where it belongs, and you're just going to basically fret that first fret note. I should also point out your palm muting this if you can't tell. Uh, so yeah, you're going to be doing that, and then the next bit is basically an extended version of that. And that last riff is first fret of the A, second and third of the low E, second of the A. And then what you're going to be doing after that is the same thing, but then instead of that second fret on the A, you're going to go back to the first fret. So it's Then you are 
are basically going to be playing that last riff as power chords. Over and over again until your hand hurts. Practice that one. We actually had the first guitarist of the band who uh, left years ago. Well, he left before I kicked him out. Long story, don't ask me. Anyway, he actually couldn't play that riff. I'm not naming him though, I'm not that pay, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, we got that, and then, what's the next bit again? I don't know, I can't remember. Whatever, I'm not gonna play that riff slowly. We'll go straight up the next bit. Right, chorus, chorus. Uh, you're basically holding a bar on the seventh fret, and then you're gonna be holding down the ninth fret on the D and the G, <laughs> G string, and then you're basically going to be playing those bottom three strings, bottom four strings, four strings. I forget the name of that chord, but I know Rage Against the Machine used it quite a lot. Then it's an open power chord, first fret power chord, going to the fourth fret. So. Then you're basically playing the same thing, but you're descending from the 4th fret to the 1st fret. 1st fret again. Then you're just going to be chugging open notes, and then you want 3 notes of the A5 power chord, or A sharp 5 power chord. Yeah, you gotta play however many open notes it takes to get to three notes and still have it be in all the bars. You work it out. I'm not the music guy. I'm just winging this as I go along. Hang on. Thirteen open power chords. Yeah. So that's basically all the rest called dystopia. Um, copyright. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was interesting to watch. If it wasn't, pff, I don't care. I'm ill. Give me a break. Uh, next week we'll do another one of our songs. We'll do a hide of generation. I'm going to record it now because I'm ill. So I'll be wearing the same clothes next week. Get over it. Peace out, guys.